Island Pride. He does a mean Mahalia Jackson impersonation, I'll tell you that. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Rodney P. Davis. Can I have your attention, please? Can anyone tell me the answer to this question? What is 100 multiplied by zero? How about a thousand times times zero? You're probably wondering, what the hell is he talking about? You see, the portion of this celebration is called the rally. This rally is supposed to incite you to action. Yes, incite means to stir up, to whip up, to encourage, to fan the flames up, to stoke, to fuel, to kindle, to ignite, to stimulate, to provoke, to excite, to arouse, to awaken, to inspire. What do you have to be proud about? Let me change the inflection of that same sentence. What do you have to be proud about? For it is much as important as we are gathered here today to celebrate the pride of our community, what are you going to be doing tomorrow? What are you going to be doing next week? You see, anything times zero is zero. We can have speaker after speaker come up here and tell you all sorts of things, but unless we are committed to do something, anything times zero will always equal zero. Now, I'm not just talking about you. I'm not gonna get up here and preach. You know, I'm talking about me too. You know, as mentioned earlier, it is always someone's first pride. Today marks my 25th pride that I've been volunteering. The theme that year for Pride was simply take pride. I was still in the closet. I was serving in the ministry with Jehovah's Witnesses. And in a real way, I was inciting. You see, the Greek word to incite means to put a flame underneath. And you would be surprised that what incited me was a scripture in the Bible. Now, you don't have to be Christian. You don't have to be religious. You don't even have to believe in God to recognize the importance of the words that really incited me and kept ringing in my head over and over again. And it was in a book called James. And he said this, however, become doers of the word and not just hearers only. Deceiving yourselves with false reasoning. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, this man is like someone who looks at his face in the mirror and he walks away and he forgets what sort of person he is. We can hear all sorts of things, but unless we're doers, anything times zero will always equal zero. If we look in the mirror and it shows us that we are gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, gender fluid or queer, and we walk away and immediately forget what sort of person we are, we equal zero in this world today. And that's important. Our faces are an important story, a narrative that must be heard if we want to see change.